Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this Christmas ornament for the Christmas blanket, Tapestry Crochet. So um, I'm going to be using the same hook that I always use, which is a 6.5. So, if these are the colors that you want to pick from, then that's fine. These are the colors I'm actually going to use. So, get your colors, and uh, I'll meet you right back here. So, um, start, let's start with your base color, which is just going to be written as a single crochet. So, you're going to do a slip knot. You're going to chain 22. That's my 22 stitches. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to go into those. It's probably hard to see. Let me zoom in. So that's my chain. That light might be a little bright. I'm going to flip them over and go into these back bumps to do my 21 single crochets back up to the top. And I'm doing that because I'm making a blanket, but all depends on what you're using the project for. You don't have to do this. It is not that big of a deal if you skip this part because it can be quite awkward. I'm going to chain one and turn my work. So this is the back side where we're going to start adding our blue, but first we're going to do seven single crochets with your base color. This is my seventh stitch. So I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to bring this over and hold it with my thumb and I'm going to add my blue finishing the stitch. So I'm going to take my straggler from adding that and I'm just going to put it over here. With my blue color I'm going to do 7 A, we'll call it A, This is my seventh stitch. So again, I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to finish that with my base color. Make sure this stays loose for when this pulls out straight. That's got to be loose. And do seven single crochets to the end. This is my seventh stitch. I'm going to chain one and turn my work. Round three is going to be six single crochets. This is my sixth stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my blue. Make sure that's loose. Pull down on your base color. With my blue, I'm going to do 9A, so 9 single crochets with my color A. Whichever color you're doing, I'm calling it blue because <laughs> mine's blue. This is my ninth stitch. 
I'm going to finish it with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do six single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Round four. It's going to be five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch, so I'm going to pull up a loop. And I'm going to finish the stitch with my blue. With my blue, I'm going to do 11 single crochets. This is my 11th stitch, so I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to finish it with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do five single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. So we're going to bring in the light blue in this round. So I'm just going to get my light blue ready. So you're going to do four single crochets. This is number four. I'm going to finish it with my blue color. With my blue, I'm going to do two single crochets. That's my second one. So I'm going to pull up the, a loop and I'm going to add my B color, which is light blue. So I'm going to try to weave what I can in at the back. But all depending on what you're using the project for, it's up to you what you do. With my light blue, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to basically pull up a loop. I'm going to finish it with my dark blue once I get my fingers to work. Um, with the dark blue, I'm going to do three single crochets. So this is my third stitch. I'm going to finish it with the light blue. With light blue, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to finish that with dark blue with my with my B or my A, excuse me. With my A, I'm going to do three single crochets. On my third stitch, I'm going to finish it with my light blue again. With my light blue, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to finish that with my dark blue, which is my B color. Or my A color. Wow, I'm getting all mixed up all by myself. And then with A, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my base color, which is over here. For some reason. And with my base color, I'm going to do four single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. So you should have three B's, which is your light blue, 
if you did everything right. Chain one, turn your work. Oh, I already chained one, turn your work. So to make my life easier, I'm gonna pull out my two blue colors, some long strands of it, and I'm gonna cut them off. That way they're not attached to the ball anymore and it's gonna be easier for me to not get tangled. Because then you just gotta take your base color and pull your blue out of it, just like that. A lot easier for me, but you can do it any way you want to. So we're on round six. It's pretty long. It's really long. There's a lot of changing back and forth. First, we're going to start with our base color and do three single crochets. That's my third stitch. I'm going to finish it with my light blue color. So color B, color B you're going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to finish that with my color A. With my color A I'm going to do one single crochet. And I'm going to finish it <laughs> with my B color. And I'm going to do that all the way across. So with my B, one single crochet, I'm going to finish that with my A, one single crochet. B, A. And we're going to keep doing this all the way across until we have three single crochets left. Back and forth, back and forth. Try not to skip a stitch. It's really easy to skip a stitch. But do your best. Take your time. So your last stitch is going to be this light blue color. So yeah, that worked out for me. So light blue is your last stitch because it was your first stitch. You're going to finish that with your base color. Not your blue. Your base color. And you're going to do your three single crochets. Chain one. Turn your work. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight light blues. So eight B colors, and that's what I have as well as eight B colors. And I wrote down seven A's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven A's. So my A is my dark blue. So I did mine correctly. As long as you had the three single crochets at the end of that row, you should be good. So this one's long, but not quite as long. <laughs> so, if you feel the need to untwist your blue, you might have to, or whatever color you're using. So this one is going to be two single crochets. And you're going to finish it with your blue color, your dark blue, which is your color A.
With color A, you're going to do two single crochets. You're going to finish that with your color B. Color B is going to be one single crochet. Oops, not sure what I just did there. I got a, there we go. So I basically, one single crochet is pulling up a loop and finishing it with the next color, which is the blue. Color A. With color A, you're going to do three single crochets. Because the checkerboard color, it might be easy to skip a stitch, just go slow. You're going to finish that with your color B. Color B is going to be one single, one single crochet. Yeah, I thought I was reading that wrong. One single crochet. There's a lot of numbers on my page to read. With a, you're going to do three single crochets. You're going to finish that with your color B. It's so easy to get everything twisted right now. With your color um, B, you're going to do one single crochet. Oops. One single crochet means you finish it with your blue or your B or your A. Um, with A, you're going to do three single crochets. So you're going to finish that with your light blue color, which is color B. Color B is going to be one single crochet. You're going to finish with your color A, color A is going to be two single crochets. So you're going to finish that with, if I can find it, your base color, which mine apparently is in one great big knot. You finish with your base color. And with your base color, you're going to do two single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round eight is another checkerboard deal. So you're going to do two single crochets. On your second stitch, you're going to finish it with your dark blue or your A. You're going to do the same checkerboard business until you have these two left, these two single crochets left. So you're going to follow where the color is and you're going to stop. And you're going to stop on a dark blue because you started with a dark blue.
my last stitch and I'm going to finish that with my base color. And I'm going to do my two single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. So what did I write down for this? 9A, which is dark blue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Which leaves me 8Bs, which is my light blue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's what it should look like. I'm right on track. I'm <laughs> over, working over here for some reason tonight. So, so far this is what you should have. We are on round 9. Round nine is going to be two single crochets. Let's move over here. So I'm going to finish this stitch with my light blue. I'm um, holding things weird right now for some reason. Things feel weird. All right, my light blue, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to finish it with my A color, my dark blue. Oh, for God's sakes. I got to have 15 hands. You know what? Some days I'm okay, and other days it's I feel like i am got two left hands. So, dark blue color or color A is going to be three single crochets. I don't know, it's hard to find your stitches sometimes. Uh, I'm going to finish that with my light blue if I can find it. There it is. So I'm going to finish that with my light blue. And I'm going to do one single crochet. And I'm going to finish that with my dark blue. With my dark blue, I'm going to do three single crochets. I'm going to finish that with my light blue. And I'm going to do one single crochet. Finish that with my dark blue. I don't have much left. So I'm just going to add some more. With my A, I'm going to do three single crochets. I'm going to finish this with my light blue, which is my color B. With color B, I'm going to do, you guessed it, one single crochet. Finish that with my blue. Just make sure you grab the right one. And I'm going to do three single crochets with my blue. I'm going to finish it with my B. With my B color, I'm going to do one single crochet, and I'm going to finish that with my base color. Excuse me. My base color is going to be two single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 10 is going to be easy peasy. Oh yeah, I got blue attached here. <clears throat> so I'm just going to pull out some more blue since I'm attached to the ball and I don't want to be attached to the ball. With your base color, you're going to do two single crochets. 
on your second stitch you're going to finish it with your blue and with your blue you're going to do 17 single crochets That is my 17th stitch. I'm going to bring my base color all the way over here and I'm going to do two single crochets. Finish the row. Turn your work. Round 11 is going to be two single crochets so on my second one I'm going to finish it with this light blue color which is still way over here because I didn't use it so I'm uh, going to cut off leaving a tail and I'm actually I'm not going to use that I'm going to start another one because it's too short. So I'm going to finish it with my light blue color. With B, I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish this with my blue. With my blue, <clears throat> excuse me, with blue I'm going to do three single crochets. That's my third stitch. I'm going to finish it with my A. My A color is going to be one single crochet. I'm going to finish with my blue color, B, A, B. I'm getting all mixed up. <clears throat> With my A color, I'm going to do three single crochets. I'm going to finish that. With my light blue. With my light blue, I'm going to do one single crochet. So my Blue Blue is running out real quick, so I don't think I'm going to be much more with him. With my blue, I'm going to do three single crochets. I think that's it, so I'm going to finish the stitch with the light blue. The light blue, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I need to get more blue, so I'm going to finish it with my blue. And I'm going to do three single crochets. I'm going to finish it with my light blue and I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to finish that with my base color. Just make sure it's not going to be too tight. And I'm going to do my two single crochets with my base color. Chain one, turn your work. So. So this next one is um, another checkerboard. So you're going to start with two single crochets being your base color. And you're going to jump into the color A, which for me is dark blue. I can find it. So I start with dark blue. 
So it's a checkerboard again. And you're going to continue the checkerboard until you come all the way to the other side. You end with the dark blue because that's what you started with. And you'll have two single crochets left. So back and forth, back and forth, checkerboard. So my last stitch is dark blue, which it should be, which is your color A. And you're going to finish that with your base color, but I don't have, mine won't go that far. So I'm just going to add some more back here now. And I'm going to do my two single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 13. is starts with two single crochets with your base color. So you're going to finish it with your dark blue color. Dark blue, you're going to do two single crochets. And you're going to finish it with your light blue color. And you're going to do one single crochet. And you're going to finish that with your dark blue color. And you're going to do three single crochets. It's my third stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my light blue color. And with light blue, I'm going to do one single crochet. With my A color, I'm going to do three single crochets. And on my third stitch, I'm going to finish it with the light blue color, my color B. Color B, you guessed it, one single crochet. Finish that stitch with your color A. And with your color A, you're going to do three single crochets. Finish with your blue color. you're going to do one single crochet. So finish that with your dark blue, your A color, and do two single crochets. And you can finish that second stitch with your base color and do two single crochets.
Chain one, turn your work. So, it's pretty messy back here. Um, it's probably hard to tell what the heck is going on when I do this side. Round 14 is a checkerboard. It's just a shorter checkerboard. We're going to come in a bit. So, I want you to do three single crochets with your base color. So that dips you right into the first blue stitch with your base. Then you can finish that with your blue uh, allied. We did blue last time, didn't we? The dark blue. Finish this with your light blue color. This one, this checkerboard will start with the light blue, it'll end with the light blue, and it'll end with three single crochets and not two. So you'll end here in the blue. You'll start this blue stitch with your base color. So checkerboard time. So you're starting with light blue, you're ending in light blue, and you're just going to go back and forth all the way across. So I need to end this with my light blue color and I need to have three single crochets left. So that's one, two, and three. So this will be my last blue and I'm going to finish it with my base color. Just make sure I don't pull too tight and I'm going to do my three single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Round 15. So this goes to right at the bottom of the page. This goes to round 25. We're on 15 right now. So, we're going to do four single crochets with our um, base color. So, you can finish that with your dark blue. With your dark blue, you're going to do two single crochets. God, it's so hard to tell where the stitches are sometimes. So you're going to finish that with your light blue color. And you're going to do one single crochet. So it's the same crop that we do before, just alternating colors. So finish that with your light blue. And with your uh, A color, you're going to do three single crochets. So finish that with your light blue 
if you're doing my colors. I guess I keep saying that, assuming you're doing my colors. We're gonna do one single crochet. Finish it with your A. With your A, you're gonna do three single crochets. Now it's a little monotonous. So finish that with your light blue. With your light blue, you're gonna do one single crochet. You're gonna finish that with your A. With your A, you're gonna do Well, you're going to do three single crochets. I'm not sure how that turned out like that. But you're going to finish that last one with your base color. And then you're going to do four single crochets. I don't think I read something properly, but I'm sure it'll be fine. There might have there might be, that was supposed to be two, but for some reason, I think it screwed up somewhere. So this is what it should look like. As long as you have 21 stitches across, you're doing okay. Um, I must have wrote it down wrong on the paper because I counted I have 21 stitches, so I'm not sure why it didn't. So, but sometimes I write it down wrong. It's not the easiest thing to do is do all that counting and and stuff so all right moving on to round 16 you're going to do five single crochets with your base color this is my fifth stitch I'm going to finish it with my dark blue or my A color and with my A I'm going to do 11 single crochets. This is my 11th stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my base color, and with my base color I'm going to do 5 single crochets. Chain 1, turn your work. Round 17 is going to be six single crochets with your base color. This is my sixth one. I don't have enough blue at the back to finish, so I'm just going to finish it with my new blue stuff. With my A, I'm going to do nine single crochets. That's my ninth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my base color. And with my base color, I'm going to do six single crochets.
chain one, turn your work. Round 18, you're going to do seven single crochets with your base color. That's number seven. I'm going to finish it with my blue. A dark blue and I'm going to do seven single crochets this is my seventh stitch so I'm going to finish it with my base color and I'm going to do seven single crochets my seventh stitch, I'm going to chain one and turn. So that's what you should have. This is all this goobly gawk there that we went through. Thankfully we're done. These next two rows are going to be identical. You're going to do eight single crochets with your base color that's my eighth stitch I'm going to finish it with my blue with my blue I'm going to do oh sorry Nope, I lied. Stop the presses. I'm not finishing it with blue. This is where my gray comes in. I should have known considering where I was. So, we're going to add our gray to do our hanger, our tree hanger. So, we're not going back to blue. With your gray, you're going to do five single crochets. So that's my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my base color. And my base color, I'm going to do eight single crochets and then I'm going to repeat that last row chain one turn your work so all you're doing is repeating exactly what you just did I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to cut it off leaving a tail just so I can sew it in later. So that's what you should have at this point. Round 21 and 22 are the same. You're going to do 10 single crochets. This is my 10. I'm going to finish that stitch with my gray. With my gray, I'm going to do one single crochet, finishing that with my pink. And with my pink, 
I'm going to do 10 single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. And repeat that row. Oh, I just knocked my camera. Repeat this row all over again. Rounds 23, round 23 is going to be seven single crochets. Oh, I went eight, seven, two, four, six, seven. So on my seventh stitch, I'm going to switch to the gray. With the gray, you're going to do one single crochet. So go back to the base. You're going to do two single crochets with the base color. You're going to switch to the gray. You're going to do one single crochet with the gray. Let's go back to the base color and do 10 single crochets to the end. Chain one, turn your work. Twenty four. Twenty four. You're going to do eleven single crochets with your base color. This is the 11th stitch. You're going to finish it with the gray. With the gray, you're going to do two single crochets. Then you're going to finish it with the base. In the base color, you're going to do eight single crochets. Here we go. There we go. Definitely needs to be blocked. But that. Is your Christmas ornament. So you can fasten off. Cut your gray off. And then all this stuff needs to be taken care of.
So once you got your stuff at the back all done, you can see how out of shape definitely mine is. This is a blocking board and these are pins. These are called wig pins, if you need to look them up. But if you buy a blocking board set from Amazon, you'll get the pins with it. So, Because wig, wig pins come in so many different sizes. These are ones that I have to hold my stuff down so I can sew stuff on for crocheting, for dolls and stuff. So, but this, these blocking things... Um, they have lines on them so it helps you. So I have some H2, H2O, I have the hiccups, I have the eight, some H2O which is just water. So I'm going to soak or you can wash it like as long as it's wet. That's So I do the middle as well just so I can stretch it and put it back into shape because when I use different sized yarns it does kind of get out of shape so once I soak it, it becomes a little more pliable. So I just want to put it into shape and then I pin it and I let it dry overnight. This is how you block something. So and when it dries, you're going to be all set. So when you've stretched something and then it dries, it tends to shrink. So instead of stretching it out, I push it in because it's going to pull back anyway. So therefore it ends up drying a lot nicer. So it's all pinned up and I'll just let it sit and dry overnight. And we can move on and do our next tapestry crochet for our Christmas blanket. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you in the next video.